Jesus at the center of it all. What's going on, everybody? When I was a child, there were two songs that I loved to sing. The first one said, Jesus loves the little children, all the little children of the world, red, yellow, black, or white, all are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. The second song went like this. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Two songs with powerful messages. The love of Christ is global, encompassing everyone, but the love of Christ is also personal. When you think of the word personal, what comes to mind? For me, three things come to mind. I think of the first time I received my very own personal cell phone. Felt really good about that. I think of the first time I received my personal bank account. Didn't have a lot of money then and don't have a lot of money now, but it was personal. And then I think about receiving my very first car. The day I graduated from high school, my father held up keys to what would be my own personal car. I said then that that car would last me years until I was married. Do you know what? I still drive that car now. There's something special about having your own personal cell phone, your own personal bank account, your own personal car. But what's more important than all of those is having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. John 3:16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. When you and I have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, we are more inclined to cherish his love and to share it with others. My prayer for you this week and my encouragement is to start and keep a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. You will not regret it. God bless.